And welcome to the Aaron Katzman Show. I'm your host, Aaron Katzman. We speak to your life, your money, and your investments. And as always, we're coming to you from the spiritual and soon to be cap, soon to be financial capital of the world, that is Jerusalem, Israel. If you like this content, please hit the like button below. And if you've not yet done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So Israel is a little bit different this year because of the war. Right. Usually the week of Thanksgiving, even in foreign countries, even though Thanksgiving is not celebrated in those countries, you will be bombarded with Black Friday ads. So because of the situation here, um, I actually haven't seen very many Black Friday ads. I've seen a few, but not very many. But I was last and staying up all night last night watching the Seattle Seahawks lose to the uh, Los Angeles Rams. And there there were plenty of ads for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And what can I tell you? This is what I want to speak about, okay? Because I don't like those days very much. I mean, I shouldn't say that. That's not right. I do like those days if you know how to take advantage of those days. But if you don't, those days are terrible, okay? How bad things have things gotten? Well, a few years ago, I was actually in America, and there was a headline, a screaming headline from the USA Today. Should you get a personal loan for holiday shopping this year? And I was like, holy cow, you got to be kidding me. The article spoke about how expensive holiday shopping is and that there's data that shows that 40% of Americans don't have $400 to cover an emergency, but will spend way more than that on holiday presents. Jana Heron, who wrote the article, speaks about consumers who don't have enough money to cover Black Friday shopping. She discusses taking out a holiday loan. What a good idea. Holiday loans, she says, typically come with a fixed interest rate and installment repayment plan that starts as soon as the loan funds are distributed. The loan amount generally ranges between $500 to $5,000 with terms between a year and five years. Funds can be used for any purpose. You can often apply for these loans online and some require no credit check before approval. Banks, online lenders, and credit unions all offer personal loans. It's unusual for credit unions to adver advertise a special holiday loan which has a low rate that is only available on Black Friday or for net set times so in Mike Shank. Chief Economist of the Credit Union National Association. Wow, that's amazing. Good for them. You don't even need to have credit history. You don't even need to have a background check. We'll just give you the money. And now with interest rates so high, you can stay in debt forever because you don't even have $400 to pay it off. Isn't that fantastic? But you've got to buy, 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 right? There are sales. You've got to take advantage of those sales, right? Black Friday, Cyber Monday, fantastic especially when you don't have any money this is insane okay i'm not as you know i'm not against buying things and if you need to buy something i'm all for getting the best deal that you can in fact if you need to buy something this is a great time of the year take advantage of the sales okay but i am totally against buying things that you can't afford and probably don't need right if we've gotten into if we got into the situation where people are now going into serious debt like with and paying like loan shark interest rates to fund that debt to take advantage of a good deal. What does that mean about us as a society, right? Is consumerism so, so important? I'll tell you one thing living in Israel right now during this um, time period of the war, it sort of puts, puts things in perspective. There are things that are more important than buying material objects, believe it or not. I mean, there are things that give you more happiness than material objects. In fact, when you buy the material object, you might have um, short-term satisfaction now when you use it for the first time or even the second time, but probably by the eighth time you use it or the ninth time you use it, ah, I gotta buy a new one. Or you'll just stick it in the closet never to be seen again, right? There's more to life than consumerism. Ash Extantis, financial empowerment, empowerment coach at Bank Mobile puts it best. Shopping, especially on Black Friday, is psychological warfare. You're literally in a battle between you and your pockets versus retailers and marketers. They know that many can't resist deep discounts, and that's why you must be psychologically ready to say no and close a blind eye to what's not on your list, what you can't afford and what you can't buy with cash, okay? The way to take advantage of Black Friday is to live within a budget. I know I say this all the time, but there's a reason I say this all the time, because people don't get it. If you need to buy clothes or a new fridge and you've set aside money within your annual budget for such a purpose, go ahead and take advantage of the amazing sales that are on Black Friday. Okay, go for it. 
Okay, but just like when you go to the supermarket, you have to make a list of what you really need and stay focused on purchasing those things, right? Don't let the things calling out from you at the aisles when you go in the supermarket, right? Buy me two for one, two for one. You don't need me, but buy it anyway, right? Don't stay away from that kind of thing, right? To buy a new TV, which is 40% off when there's nothing wrong with the TV about two years ago is silly, especially if you have no money, okay? At the end of the day, it's not considered savings if you don't need the thing. Okay, so let's be smart. Take advantage of Black Monday and Black Friday, excuse me, and Cyber Monday. Take advantage if you need it and only if you need it. But don't just buy things because they're on sale. That's bad. Don't take a loan, right? Don't put these things on credit because at the end of the day, it's just going to bury you financially for what? For a little bit of short-term pleasure maximum. It's just not worth it, Okay. Before we sign off, please pray for the state of Israel. Please pray for the soldiers fighting the good fight. Please return. Please pray for the safety and return of all the hostages taken. And pray for the soldiers who have both fallen and who are, please pray for them to have a speedy recovery um, as well. Those who are injured. Okay, as Israel fights the good fight between good and evil. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll speak to you soon.